Growing up as the first IVF boy, I suppose, felt, well, to me, incredibly normal. I mean, I didn't know any any different, uh, but I mean, still very proud to be part of that history. But you can let something like that uh, put your head in a spin. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. So, I mean, it's quite a big thing to think about, really. And I was a very inquisitive uh, child, so you know, I was always pl- asked, there was always plenty of questions and and things to find out about the whole thing. So, yeah, so, well, some of the things my friends would say, I mean, I, I never really got anything bad said to me about friends. Uh, for It was all in good taste and, and fun. But it was, uh, like, uh, how did I learn to climb up glass and was I sponsored by Pyrex? Certainly the internet wasn't around then, so people couldn't just Google test your babies and find out about themselves. So they were all genuinely interesting to see what, like, what, what the IVF process was. Uh, my memories of uh, very early days of Professor Edwards uh, growing up was of a very uh, kind, caring, honest, and well, a, fe- a very human person. It was uh, maybe slightly eccentric, but <laughs> in, in such a great, fun, genuine way. I mean, you could not honestly meet a more nicer man. But like one of my early like, funny moments of being in, in, in his old Mercedes in the back of his car, and he was demonstrating his uh, his air conditioning system to me, which was both back windows open and me being blown about in the back. So I mean, he had a very great down to earth sense of humour, and yeah, just I was I was always in complete awe of him, to be honest. So.